An early morning accident leaves a woman dead and a neighborhood in shock. Local 12's Megan Mangello is live in Springfield Township where the 42-year-old woman was hit not once but twice. Megan. Well, hi, Paula and Kyle. I can tell you it was a very awful scene here this morning on Daly Road. The victim has now been identified as 42-year-old Landrea Hayes. Not only was she hit by two different SUVs, she was dragged down the road and stuck underneath that vehicle. We talked to a man who saw it all. Rakeem Mills was driving his kids to school when he saw the SUV in front of him hit a woman crossing the street. He says what happened next is so unreal, it felt like a scene in a movie. Once I pull over, I'm getting out the car. The lady that was hit is finally like getting up and she's like sitting up. And I say, lady, excuse me, ma'am, are you all right? And then out of nowhere, it was that fast, like boom. That sound was the impact of another SUV going in the opposite direction, hitting the woman again, dragging her down Daly Road. The other lady that hit her first, she came back to the car. She was like, where did she go? I said, she just got ran over. Me and the other lady that hit her the first time, we run down. Uh, the lady finally gets out the car, you know, and she looks under her uh, truck and she starts freaking out. The woman's body was under the second vehicle. Crime scene markers show a pair of sunglasses, a water bottle, and a cell phone. The speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Springfield Township Police haven't said if speed is a factor but a neighbor told us it is a problem on that road. They just fly through here, so not a lot of people like to be on this, you know, on the front of their front yards because how quickly they speed. And that neighbor I talked with said maybe speed bumps could be installed here on this stretch of roadway. At this point, Springfield Township Police say they're still investigating and have not filed any charges against those two drivers who did stop and cooperate with police. Reporting live in Springfield Township, Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. Mm, all right, thank you. We'll let people know if there are changes made on that road. And police haven't said if anyone will face charges. They did say that drugs and alcohol are not factors in the crash.